Hey guys, what's up? This is VDog. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Base 4 Insomnia LPs. So, um, yeah, today we're going to be taking on this guy, and his name is Magic Man. So, um, his stage, he himself isn't that bad. His stage, there's like one part that's like really pissing me off. Um, and today is actually Monday, so hopefully I can get this done. Um, I, ha I was pretty busy this week, so I wasn't able to do anything. My mom was off all week, she took a vacation week. So, um, yeah, I wasn't able to record at all, so now I'm recording on the day of having to upload this. Um, so yeah, this part you just want to ride the train, um, and there's one part specifically, this part, just stay here and then kill all the enemies so they won't have a chance to touch you, and then what I like to do is just speed up. Obviously you can't do that, but it does take a while if you don't speed up. So, um... Yeah, and then you have to do the same thing over here. Well, this is what I personally do, because I suck at the game, so I kind of have to. Um, I just have to stay over here and not get hit, and I have to wait for the train to come back. So, um, yeah, after this we only have two more bosses left, which is pretty cool. Um, for this guy, I didn't think he would hit me there. For this guy, you gotta, um, oh, oops. You gotta let him destroy everything. I like to slide, obviously. Um, and yeah, we're almost to the part that I hate. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd make that, so then I like tried to go back for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, so this part's kind of annoying. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. But if you, obviously, if you touch the spikes, you're dead. That's kind of obvious, though. Um, and... There is some enemies later, or you've already seen them, they were like the little guys in the first room. If they touch you, you'll see them again over here. If they get a hold of you, they'll steal all your, um, or they'll attempt to steal all your screws. Those guys right there, the green guys and the red ones. Um, so you might as well just kill them, I guess. I mean, you don't obviously, obviously you don't have to, but I mean, that'd be the easy way to go. Oh, they dropped a screw. And then there's life over here, or not life, but, I mean, not an extra life, but there's, I don't know what I'm saying. There's life, okay? There's health, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, this place itself isn't that bad. There's another train over here, you want to drop down, and then over here, it's kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing, you want to jump on here and then get o go, go over the wall. So it's pretty easy. We're almost done. This is the hardest room, though, so, I mean, um, yeah. Those guys in the background are really important. As you can see, whenever they hit the bell, the, um, spike blocks, they move, so they're pretty annoying, but you kind of need to know their pattern. You don't, like, it's not like, oh, if you know their, if you don't know their pattern, they're gonna die, but you should know, like, when they're gonna hit everything. So, um, oh, I should hit, kill that guy, yeah, you want to do that definitely or else you'll, like, die. Um, and these spikes do pretty decent amount of damage on you. So, I mean, pr oh my gosh, I just died. Cool. Wait, but we did get that life at the beginning, so I think we should have two or three more attempts left. Oh, we have three, which means we really have four, because zero counts as a life in this game. Um... So, yeah, this might take me a while, because I suck at this part. So, um, yeah. I don't really know. And I thought that would work. Apparently not. So, yeah, if you don't kill that guy, it's going to be, like, almost impossible for you to jump. I thought I did that correctly. Apparently not. Um, but, yeah, if you don't kill that, I don't even know what... I don't know what any of the enemies names are called that that weird guy I'll show you him because he probably respawned now that guy yeah you want to kill him when he's um, right here because you'll jump right into him and it'll be really annoying for you I'm trying to make your life easier man alright once you get past this jump this right here is the hardest jump ever okay yeah, and then we have to kill that guy. Oh, and I actually got it. I didn't think I would was able to get that one. Um, this jump, what I like to do right here is just get Ice Wall, murder all of them, except that one guy, because he's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to save state, because I suck. Well, first I'm going to kill myself so I can go back with full HP. 
But yeah, this is Mega Man. I mean, this is Magic Man or Mega Man, obviously. Um, so yeah, he's pr not that bad. He does summon those things that steal your screws. Okay, I died. Oh well. But yeah, I'm in a save state. So, LGA. I don't know. Okay, Shift F7. That's my boss save state. I figured out. Attempt number three. Let's go. Um, if you slide, it's gonna waste your health, your weapon health. Not waste it, but I mean, it's gonna go down a little bit. Unpoco Bito. Oh, he does regain health from that. That's so stupid, yo. I can never dodge it. I'm never gonna get anywhere with this. If I can't dodge that one attack. Okay, one more hit. One more hit. We can do this. Boom! We won. Yeah, swag. Alright, I think that was three attempts. Two or three. I don't know. YOLO, let's go. I wonder how much screws we have now. But yeah, from that fight, we have obtained the... I don't even know what it's called. That's why I'm waiting. The magic card, yeah. It's pretty cool. You can um, hit it from up or down. Like, it doesn't just go up or down. And then it brings items to you also. So, it's pretty cool. So let's save. Um, this one's ours, I think. Yeah, Dato 2 is mine. Oh, we have 235. Sweet. I think we can buy something. Um, so yeah, now we unlocked another way to get over here. We have four ways to get over there. There's five in total, obviously, from the middle guy. It's going to lead another path. Um, and I can't even hide you what boss we're going to do because there's only one more option. We're going to take on this guy next time. But first, let's go to the shop because... You promise those rules. No, I don't care. I don't care. Screw you. No, I didn't. I clicked the wrong button. Um. So there is stuff. Okay. There's auto recover. I don't have enough for that. Darn it! I thought I did. There's a C attack. S recover. E, what does S recover do? It allows you to recover energy by a larger amount. Oh, okay. Mm, yes, I do. I just don't want that. Um, what's D absorb? Your life energy will be re slightly refilled every time you receive damage. That makes no sense. Um, what does... I think E saver just allows you to use special weapons by consuming... Yeah. Um, I used to use that for the final boss. I remember I bought that one. Um, I forgot what I used when I first played this game. Because it was an LP on a different channel. Watch a HSC. It's allowed you to charge, quick charge your Mega Boss a quicker. No, why would I want that? Um, what's that one that looks like two parentheses? That's armor. It reduces the amount of damage inflicted, however, please do not put too much confidence in it. You don't have enough screws. Oh, darn. See, I don't know what... I know that C attack makes your offensive power increase in a tight situation. That's only when your, um... When your HP is low. So... I'm thinking E-Saver... I'm going to save up for auto-recover, because what it does... It makes your life energy solo recover. So, you can just speed up, and then you'll win. Not win, but I mean... Um, you'll be able to recover health, which I can just cut if I want, if it's taking too long. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been V-Dog, and I'll see you all next Monday when we take on Astro Man. Later.